fries and hash brown training. This is the fry station. And we are gonna first start with how to fill the fry hopper. Zion's gonna go ahead and open a fresh case of fries. You wanna make sure you pull them directly from the freezer. They have to be cooked from a frozen state and you never slam the box down when you bring a fresh case of fries up from the walk-in freezer. There's six bags of fries in a box and you can use all six bags to fill up the fry hopper. This is the fry hopper and yours may vary in your restaurant depending on the size. Some have a larger one like this one and some have a little bit smaller one. Okay, so the first thing he's gonna do is go ahead and open the door. And you'll see there's two poppers in the fry popper. They keep the fries frozen because the fries cook best at a frozen state. Once your fry hopper is filled, you go ahead and close the door, and we're gonna go ahead and go over the control settings on top of the hopper. So it's a little bit hard to see since it's uh, the bright green background, but if you notice, the on and off button is the circle with the line in it, and it's lit up, so of course that's how you know it's on. The next button to it where there's a number one is the settings. So when Zion hits it, you will see the setting changes from a small basket to a medium sized basket, and then also to a large basket. And you also see that it says ready on it, so you know you're ready to go for lunch, okay? So we are gonna go ahead and show you now how to drop the fries into the basket, okay? So you go ahead and you take an empty basket and you put it under the directly under the slot, and you slightly kind of a little bit harder push the basket in there is a black button under there that then dispenses the fries into the basket okay we're going to remove that basket so we can show you what the black button looks like see it right there that the bat the basket pushes into that button and then the fries are released into the basket okay so what we'll do is we'll take this basket of fries and we're gonna go ahead and show you how you would properly drop the fries in the fryer. No matter which fryer you are using, you want to verify that it is set for French fries, okay? Now you can only drop one basket in at a time. So you would always want to do the left-hand side first and then hit the number one, okay? So he's gonna drop the basket in on the left-hand side and then he's going to hit the number one button. After 30 seconds, it will be, at that time, you are going to shake the fries. Okay. After the 30 seconds is up and you shake the basket of fries, you then can drop another basket of fries in the fry bag. Fries are only good for seven minutes. Okay, well, here we go. So we're gonna hit the duty button, the number one again. You're gonna go ahead and lift the basket out of the oil slightly, shake it, and then you drop it right back down into the oil for the remainder of the cooking time. Now at this time, Zion's gonna go ahead and drop another basket of fries to show you how now is a time where you can have two baskets cooking in the same bag. 
draw that on the right hand side and he will hit the number two button. Okay, so while those fries are cooking, we're gonna go ahead over a other, couple other items. So on this first fry bat, you will see that it is reading Q1. That stands for quality, one more minute left. The fries are only good for seven minutes. So immediately after removing the fries, it starts a quality countdown. So at seven minutes, it starts. So it'll say Q7. That means the fries that are in the actual fry station will only be good for seven more minutes. So when this timer is up, the qual one, if there are any fries left in the fry station, they are no longer of quality and you would have to waste them. So it's imperative that you keep up with dropping them in the proper fry bag, okay? Okay, so qual, which stands for quality, and if there's fries left in here, those are the ones that get wasted. So you'll see Zion's gonna go ahead and scoop them out and dump them in the waste bucket. So now you can go ahead and utilize that first fry bat for dropping another set of fries now that the quality timer has gone off. During your peak period from 11 to 2 or 5 to 7, you do not have to wait for the quality timer to go down because you are constantly dropping and making fries. This is for off-peak periods when you need to pay attention to the quality button. Okay, so on this first set of fries that we're cooking, you see the countdown is at 21 seconds, and we are gonna go over the procedures of what to do when the fries are done. Zion's going to grab the basket out of the oil and we're going to shake for five to ten seconds to make sure we got all the oil off the fries properly. After that you'll notice he uses two hands, carries the basket over the fry bath and dumps the basket of cooked fries into the fry station. After you dump them in the fry station you'll see that basket goes directly hung over the fryer it was taken from so the excess grease drips back into the fry bath so we do not lose any oil okay the oil is the most expensive product for us to purchase in mcdonald's okay then immediately you would salt the fries with the accu salt shaker you do not shake it you do one flip and move it around the fries okay and then you're going to take the fry scoop and fluff the fries around so the salt is equally distributed on the fries. And now they're ready to be made into fry boxes. Okay, we'll do the same with this basket and then we'll go ahead and show you how to properly fill the fry box. Dump with two hands basket directly over the same fry bag. Immediately salt with the Accu salt shaker. Fluff the fries with the fry scoop. And then you're ready to fill the boxes. 